And when the song comes on, everybody gon' rush the floor We do it big like Matt Life <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the last Rebel Ops mission by Mavericho called Burkura Rogue Assault. And now, let's get started, shall we? This you can just honestly skip. It's just telling me why this, uh, this guy named Ben here uh, betrayed the Empire and just said, hey, yeah, the family, his family was killed on Alderaan. That's, that's what this entire conversation is about. You, like I said, you can just skip all this. He still helps you a little bit, though. Alright, and as you see, here's our cutscene of the entrance. Which is actually pretty good. My virtual did a very good job with this. Too bad he doesn't do any more maps like this, though. But, you know, real life comes before the modding. And this probably took him years to do. Alright, so of course, when you land, it's going to most likely ask you to kill people on the inside, any resistance on the inside. And that there is, so we'll start off with this blaster rifle. And just so you know, they do drop things like ammo and, and uh, what you may call it. I can't remember what it's called. Okay, it's time to get some of these set up, we can contact your team, okay. Yeah, we'll contact the team. I just need to... Probably do that. Yeah, yeah, travel to the opposite side of the island and find some way to disable the communication station. Now, this is the boring part, so... Alright, this is this is just them saying that there's a bunch of uh, stormtroopers over here and I need to proceed with caution. That's all this is saying. I've already read all this, so... All right, so now I'll I'll stop. I'll probably end up stopping the recording here. What you want to do is, uh, basically where I am right now. You want to go on the other side of the map, running this way. So I'll cut this. Should I cut this out? Yeah, I probably should. All right, so I'll just cut this part out, and I'll continue recording again when I get there. All right, so we're basically there. So I figured I'd pick up the recording here because there's a little bit more interesting things that are happening right now. Instead of me just running all over the place. Alright, so it's right it's right there, straight ahead. That's where it is, and then he's just basically gonna tell you at this point that you need to I believe go down to and stop the Imperial from taking off in the TIE pilots. Find the officer with the oh, I gotta find the key card officer first. Okay, so this is pretty self-explanatory. All you gotta do is just kill him, take it, and then take it back over. But he does at the point tell you to go to the TIE fighter area and to kill the Imperial pilots. I won't spoil anything, of course, because there are spoilers in this video if you didn't know. Okay, well... I would headshot you, but there's too many of them. Um, I don't think so. Yep, you found the security key to a lot of communications. Head back and shut it down. You got, you got shield for me? Good, I got some shield there. That's the good thing about killing these shock troopers and all these other stormtroopers. If you kill the right ones, they give you some more, some more uh, shield health, which really helps you stay alive. And compared to the other two, I think this is actually the easiest of, of all of them. Well, when you know what you're doing. I mean, it, t it still took me some time to do this, I'm not gonna lie. It took me maybe about half an hour. And it was all trial and error, to be honest with you. And here we go. That, that conversation shouldn't be a problem anymore. Good, now I have to go, no, now I have to go stop that tie, all those TIE pilots. I, I like I like my shield. I'm not sure about them, but I like it. Um, uh, no. Yep, I would like I would like some of my shield back, please. Thank you. Gotta go this way over here. 
Okay, now I'm not even bothering to kill anybody, which I probably should be doing. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take I'll I'll take this rocket launcher for now. I'll take that back. Thank you. And in case you don't know where to go, you go down into here. This big square in the in the ground. And now Ben here, he's gonna say he betrayed you. That's all he's gonna say. He's just saying how his family wasn't killed on Alderaan. He was killed. They were killed on the Death Star by the Rebel Rogue Squadron, and how this was all a trap. That's all you need to know about this. So I'll skip all this, so we can see. As you can see, all you gotta do is just kill these guys, and it's relatively simple. Just gotta make sure you don't die. Yep, there we go. And now all you gotta do to get out is go to this control panel, click that, and you are good to go. Thermal base, come in. I repeat, base thermal, come in. Are you there? Yeah. This is uh, what did Antilus and his crew of merry men that are rebel p pilots, part of the rogue squadron. I can skip all this, and now all you have to do is run back to where you started. Very very simple. So that means that means where I'm sitting now. Go to the opposite side where you see all the blue triangles or your blue allies all right so now well actually you don't have to do that yet you have to destroy the ATST first and then you get to do that I believe but once you do that you're good to go I don't know where any of them are but I need I need to kill shock troopers now because shock troopers actually help Um, I don't think- will you give me one? Yep, you will. And that's a very appreciative of you, actually, because I really needed one. Uh, oh, good. Oh, wow! They only took one shot! The ATST shouldn't present much pro problem now. I'll be back in just a bit to free, free you from the building. Yep, see? Now you have to go all the way over there and run back. I- I didn't know it was a one shot. It took me like six shots, I guess. Okay, give me that shield, please. Alright, so you, you get the point. You gotta go run back all the way over here. And then when you do, you free him. And then you know what? You have to run all the way back this way, too. So I'll cut this part out. See you in the next cut when I free them. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I'll just... I'm already basically there, so you know what? Let's just, let's just keep it running. Not missing anything interesting here, it's just me running back. Alright, let's see, um... Yeah, once you do free them, you get three people that have unlimited health. So, you actually get a little bit of assistance that you are desperately needed. And this is the only way you can go, too. You can you can try cheat cheating going the other way, but I don't suggest it, because the fake console is... is how you say disabled and that's actually a smart idea okay there we go what what's what's free our fellow men over here how are y'all doing yep and then this is was just saying thanks for getting us out of here yeah now the now the problem dude what's 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 go boys what's what's try and actually help me for once all right so now I have to run all the way back so in this case I'll just what you call it wait where's my third guy Come on, thank you. Alright, so I'll cut the recording here, and I'll see you when you when I get back to that TIE fighter base. Alright, so we're back, because we're basically by that caved-in entrance right now. But before we do that, let's hope our guys are near us for once. Nice job, idiots. Alright, so it should be up ahead over here. It's a little bit before the communication station. And it's to the right over here. Yeah, see this thing right here? That That's it right there. Up here we go. 
See, now Wedge Antilles just uh, made an explosive. And now it says, well, I suppose I'll explain why there's a close off at the particular time. See, look, a young Rancor. Nice job, boys. Oh, thanks for the health. I needed that. Now we go in here. And now all you gotta do is just trial and error with these control panels. In case you didn't know, it's just a trial and error with control panels on here. I mean, yes, there is a, w a specific way to do it, but just open them all. Just open them all, like, at least once. Say, do that. Do that. And then you have to go over here and, and turn the control panel on. So don't worry. Nope, I don't want that. Alright, so you gotta run all the way back here. Hit the control panel so you can move on to the next location. Which it should be in this corner over here. Yep, it is. There you go. And now we just run all the way back. Oh, so this is going to be a longer recording session. Damn, I didn't want that. Alright, so... Now, as you see, you can run over here, and it should be open. See? It's open. Now you can just hit that control panel, and move on over here. Oh wait, my bad. You gotta go back, and you gotta hit the other one that was, that was blocked. This one. Alright, that's weird. What? Did I, did I miss something? Yep, see. I, I must have missed that. Oh well. Alright, control panel. Let's go, boys. I have to hit this one. Thank you. Can I have your gun? Thank you. That's gonna, that's gonna be helpful. You have to run all the way around here. Wait for this elevator to come back down, I guess. Alright. Come on, elevator. Come back down for me, please. And now this next part is a little confusing. You have to match three three specific symbols with uh, six of them, I believe. There is like six. It's hard to explain. It's just you have to match up the certain ones here. Alright, so this is what you do after I kill this guy. So you see how it has this certain symbol. You have to find another security terminal that has that exact same symbol, or else it will reset and you will have to start over. So I believe it was that one, and there was another one over here. Ooh, sweet. I'll take this. It was not this one. I remember that from my last playthrough of this. I think it was the one straight ahead, to be honest. Okay, I see how it is. I believe it was this one. Yep, see, you matched another set of security consoles. Now the next part here... I believe there's a, there's a security console down this way. So it was this one. Okay, really? You gotta spawn right there. So it was that it was that one. And the other two are down this way that you gotta match up. Alright, so. Which one was it? I think it might have been this one. Uh nope it wasn't. Okay. You see? It's it was this one. So you see there, there's a K on that one. So when I go back to the other one, there should be a K. Nice try. Thanks for the blaster rifle. Alright, so I just go back to that same one and right click on it. Oh yeah. 
I'll take that little bit of shield health. Thank you. Alright, this is definitely right now, right? Yep, I matched another one, and now there's only one more. And that last one is back over here. I'll match that one up with the third tier. Whoa, that was weird. Which was this one and the last one near the front, I believe. Alright, so now we just go back, match that up, and then we go up to the third floor, if I'm remembering this correctly. Yeah, the last one was over here, I believe. Yep, you match all three sets of security consoles. Alright, so now you just go back to the elevator, and it should say, this should take you up to the third floor, which it does, so don't worry about that part. Yep, see? Love should take you up to the third floor now. Alright, to the third floor we go, boys. And this basically just says, kill some stormtroopers and and go over to a certain location. Which I will, sh which I will show you. I wish I didn't trade that. I regret my decision to trade that. Yep, they're dead. Thank you. No! I didn't want that! Alright, so just kill a few of these. And this is where you really need to basically stand after you kill a few more of these. Uh huh, there we go. And you can't go in here. People think you can. I tr believe me, I tried going in here. You can't. And even if you did, it would not have mattered, to be honest. Alright, now you have to, like, run over here, I believe. Yep, see? You're just cracking the, the security, and look at this. The three of you found Anakin Sky or Luke Skywalker. And now it's just it's just them talking to each other like, oh, I thought you forgot about me. Nah, we didn't forget about you, but you still owe me one. Okay, we got you. We'll get you out of there. Just give us a few minutes. That's all that's saying. And all you gotta do here, you don't even actually have to kill any of these guys. You can just run. And now Darth Vader should appear. Yep, see? Okay, you can't just push him down. That sucks. Alright, let's get rid of you, Darth Vader. There we go. Darth Vader is gone. Basically, he just said to you, Oh yeah, you, you are obviously the son of Anakin Skywalker. Hopefully we meet again. And now this is just... My person saying I have to go, have to go collect some detonator charges. Yep, and that's what happens when your person is told to sit still. Yep, I don't like this Arcaster in case people don't know. Okay, cool. I that's what I was looking for actually. I'd like a better weapon. Thank you. Okay, that wasn't the right one. All right, I should have just kept what I had. All right, there's there should be a, a explosive device here, which there is. All right, so we'll just collect that. Don't mind me. I said don't mind me. Thank you. Okay, I need that. Thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I need a new weapon. And then all you gotta do is go in here and place the explosives on one of these three things. Yep, see? Now I, you have to defend it for 30 seconds. Well, not like they can do anything to it anyway, but... This is more so just a precaution. Oh, hi. Alright, so I, I was able to plant the explosive device, and now all you gotta do... Thank you. Uh, nope. I hate you. Alright, so now let's see if we can find the... second one? I think it's over here. There it is. Thank you. Yep, we're going this way. Yep, and now just place the explosive somewhere else. Doesn't matter where it is. Yep, there we go. Defend it for 30 seconds, like usual. Alright, just gonna close this door. Alright, so, got the fender for about 15 seconds. Dang. Okay, well, I was like, I did that. Alright, so now I have to go kill this last guy. But thank god I died, because I hated this weapon anyway. Alright, so, you can't play as Luke. That's sad. Alright, give me a blaster rifle. Or a shotgun, maybe. That would be helpful. Wow, okay. It's not killing anyone, but... Well, none of you are giving me any, any good weapons. Nobody's giving me any weapons, so... How do you expect me to kill him when I don't have any weapons? Oh, there's one. Thank you. I'm going back this way. Now I actually have a weapon that, that can do something. Alright, where are you? You're back here. Now I'm just trying to shoot him. Not working out too well. Oh, shotgun. Sweet. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Ben Kinyarn. Haha, <laughs> got him. Alright, now all, I have, all you have to do is get to the same place you put the explosives in, get into the ship, and you are done. Alright, we'll take that as might as well. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll get there when I get there. Oh, there it is. So just get in there. And you are done. Not doing anything. And there you go. Looks like that'll conclude Maverick's Rebel Ops missions. This was the third one and the last one. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was enjoyable for you, and goodbye.